The 4 and 10 Carolina Panthers are off to Washington this week. Hey, be ready to work! Be ready to work! Be ready to work! To face their old head coach, who is trying to keep his 6 and 8 team alive for the postseason, but will need better QB play if he's going to pull it off. See, it is deflected and then a diving interception! Dwayne Haskins filled in for Alex Smith last week, and the results basically validated why Ron Rivera has been going with Smith instead of Haskins. Fires downfield, and it is picked up! Haskins did lead a late charge, and Washington was in position to maybe pull off the upset before Haskins took back-to-back -to -back sacks on their final drive. Haskins taken down again! Washington's offense continued to be a drag on the team's season, as they were not able to muster much of anything along the ground either. J.D. McKissick unable to crack the four yards of carry barrier. It's McKissick, he looks to change direction. Washington desperately needs their personnel back for this game. They not only played without Smith, they were missing their top back again, Antonio Gibson, who would love to get out there against a Panthers run D that just allowed Aaron Jones to go for 145 yards, giving up over seven yards per carry to the Packers, for 4.7 a run for the year now. Ripped out of bounds by Thompson. And whoever takes snaps for Washington this week will be staring at a Jekyll and Hyde type of secondary because last week the Panthers held Aaron Rodgers to under 150 yards and just 4.9 yards per attempt. Launches down the sideline. It's incomplete. And their pass rush produced five sacks, which really sticks out being Rodgers was one of the least sacked QBs in the game. It's Brian Burns, the fifth sack tonight. But if you pull up film from the week before, when they faced Drew Locke, it was nothing like that. Locke, end zone, wide open touchdown! And the Panthers have allowed a rating over 100 for the year now, completion percentage allowed near 70. And it's a touchdown! Washington's pass D, on the other hand, is a big reason why they've stayed in the race this season. Broke it out, Kendall Fuller made the play. The team added to their already impressive resume by shutting down Russell Wilson to the tune of just 121 yards, only 4.5 yards per attempt, and a rating under 75. Deflected by Sway, and then picked off! They didn't sack Wilson, and that's a little shocking since he gets sacked as often as he does, and Washington sports so many pass rush weapons. But Washington usually does get home against most QBs. Couldn't get rid of it. That's Chase Young with a sack. Teddy Bridgewater was dragged down three times last week, too. In trouble and sacked. But when he wasn't on his back, Bridgewater had over 250 yards, most of them to DJ Moore, who clocked out with over 130, which puts him over 1,000 for the year. DJ Moore goes up and brings it in. The Panthers' incentive in this one to beat their old boss. Is that enough to defeat a team vying for a playoff spot? You tell us, put your predictions where your mouth is, or in this case, in the comments section, ours will reveal themselves at the bottom of the screen. Experienced player on this defense, second and seven, Bridgewater steps up, looks the run, which he's done more than ever before this season. He's in touchdown. Second down and four off the fake to McKissick. Haskins to McKissick for a Washington touchdown for the second straight possession. They get it to the end zone.